So take a look at this weld here. You can see in the corner there's an amperage display. As I'm buzzing along laying filler rod down, you can see that my heat is not fully blending the filler rod into the base plate. I could slow down at the start to allow for a full blend at the beginning of the pass, but without enough amperage set on the machine, we can hang out all day, we can switch the thinner rod, it's not gonna matter. In this case here, it's much better just to turn up our heat to an adequate amperage level and then get going from there. See here? We have more heat off of the start. We have more filler going in. We're chilling out a little longer at the start, giving it a chance to sit down and heat up fully, and boom, we're off rolling with a better profile, better heat, which leads for a better weld. Look here at this outside corner. This outside corner, you can see there is not enough heat or amperage to fully sit it down and let it fully blend into the base material of the joint. Taking a look at it after, you can see we might have consistent steps and consistent puddles, but the profile overhangs the plate. You can see with the ruler here. And then if you flip it over, there's no penetration. The weld did not sit fully down into the weld joint, which means it did not sink through into the base material, punching through to the other side for proper penetration. See this one here? Much better. We have more heat. We have more blending into the base material. So our filler material is doing a better job sinking through to the other side for proper penetration. We flip it over. There we go. It looks much better, right? So before you get going on a weld joint that you're unfamiliar with, do a couple test runs on a piece of scrap just to find the ballpark of where your amperage needs to be set so it can fully sink and blend into the base material.